I am Anil Kumar and here is a question from the book. It is a request from my subscriber on YouTube, Ellen. She wants me to answer few questions from Nelson. Here is question number 10, page 321. Read and measurements, trigonometry. Given angle DC equals to pi by 12 radians and C equals to 4.5 centimeter, determine the size of angle theta and x. The diagram is given before you it is not to the scale so we have a triangle ABC the angle DCE the small angle is pi by 12 you need to find X the length of segment CF and angle theta angle BAC and you're also given CE is perpendicular and it is 4.5 centimeters long so let's begin by solving the triangle ABC, which is a right triangle, right? So we have triangle ABC, uh, which is a right triangle. So in this particular triangle, angle theta is something which we need to find. Since we know the opposite side and the hypotenuse, we should use sine of theta. So cut to a opposite over hypotenuse sine theta. So we'll use sine of theta is equals to opposite side over hypotenuse which is 4 over 8 right now from here we see it is ratio of 1 is to 2 so if you know your special triangles half is the ratio it is 60 30 90 degrees right but you can use your calculator and you'll find that theta equals to sine inverse of half which is how much which is 30 degrees or pi by 6 we are doing it in radians so we'll use pi by 6 right so I'm not using calculator but I'm using my special triangle let me make one here right so this is the special triangle where the sides are in the ratio of 1 2 square root 3 and this angle for us is pi by 6 okay so we get angle theta as pi by 6 now if angle theta is pi by 6 what should be angle BCA so angle BCA should be equal to 90 minus pi by 6 right since some of these three angles is 180 degrees right so angle BCA should be 90 minus pi by 6 let me write this as pi by 2 minus pi by 6 which of course will be pi by 3 right you can take common denominators which is 6 and then 3 minus 1 so you get 2 over 6 simplifies to pi over 3 so this angle for us is pi over 3 right so you see this this is pi over 3 now the vertically opposite angle should also be pi by 3 so we know angle C which is angle FCD I can write FCD should be equal to angle ACB right since they are vertically opposite angles so both should be pi by 3 right so you should write reason vertically opposite angles so now we know this angle the big angle is pi by 3 we know that angle DC is pi by 12 and from there we can find what angle FCE should be right so angle FCE should be equal to angle FCD the big angle minus the small angle which is angle DCE right so that gives you the total angle is pi by 3 take away pi by 12 now you can take common denominator of 12 multiply this by 4 to make it 12 so 4 pi minus pi so that gives you 3 pi by 12 which is indeed equal to pi by 4 right so this angle is pi by 4 for us so that is 45 45 90 degrees special triangle so x should be square root 2 times 
this side. Well, well, what you should do here is you should use trigonometric ratios, correct? So let's use trigonometric ratios once again. So we say angle CF is pi by 4. So let's solve now the triangle FCE, okay? So that's the right triangle here. So we can say that we need to find what X is, right? So we can use, and we know CE is 4.5. So that becomes adjacent side. So we'll use cos of pi by 4 is equals to CE over CF. Now cos of pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2. CE is given to us as 4.5. CF we need to find which is X. Cross multiply. So X is 4.5 times square root 2. So you can use the calculator now and find the answer. So let me do square root 4.5 times square root 2 equals to 9 square root 2 by 2 which is 6.3639 okay so we can round it to one decimal place let us say 6.4 centimeter okay so we found x and the angle theta our answer is angle theta for us is pi by 6 and x is equals to 6.4 centimeters so that is how you can solve this question right so go through these steps once again understand the strategy make use of special triangles to immediately get the answers and you can also use your calculator but your calculator setting should be in radians i hope that helps thank you and all the best